Hey everyone. So I've spent a good deal of time trying to increase the Wi-Fi capabilities of my Verizon 5's router. Uh, the one I'm using has two antennas. I'm not sure the, of the number, but I will look it up and I'll put it in the description below. But anyway, I have been paying for 50 megabits of download speed and currently they are matching with 50 upload speeds and if we were lucky over Wi-Fi we were getting 20 up, 20 down. Um, I do understand that Wi-Fi is less, um, there's less bandwidth um, than there is with connecting so when I, on my desktop computer here I was getting 50 up, 50 down, sometimes better than that. Um, so I wanted to look into this. I spent a lot of time trying to get other routers installed so I didn't have to use the Verizon router, uh, wireless capabilities, but because I have a set-top box for my internet, or internet for my uh, TV, I couldn't just do, with, do away with it completely. Um, so um, stumbling on the internet, um, I remembered that there are different standards. Um, there's A, B, G, and N. So what I wanted to do was see if I could change the standard to a better one and, um, it, and get better speeds um, for download. So log into your Verizon router here, go to a web browser and type in 192.168.1.1 and then uh, type in your information. If you haven't changed this, uh, it should be the default. So look into what that is. I don't remember what it is because I have changed mine probably on the back of your router. Uh, otherwise contact Verizon so uh, we'll stick this in and we'll get you into here so here are this is what you'll see when you log in in order to change it to a better standard what we have to do we're going to go, go, go to settings under wireless mode here you say it says that I have I'm in performance mode which is 802.11n um, and that is key that is like the newish standard the newest one of the, of the bunch from what I understand so to change this click on advanced settings and you'll see this screen so what you're going to want to do is to um, first I would suggest clicking on WPA2 and entering a, a stronger password because uh, obviously protection is very key um, in keeping your information safe and you don't want people you're paying for this uh, this service you're paying for the speeds and people that you don't know shouldn't be able to access it um, unless, of course, you're paying to share, then by all means, don't encrypt it. Um, the SSD broadcast, uh, leave that alone. If you turn that off, you won't be able to see the network on a wireless device. So on your mobile uh, phones, your tablets, um, your laptops, it will not broadcast. You'll have to manually put everything in. So just leave that alone. What we're looking for here is under level 3, you, it says 802.11bgn mode. So what we do is click on that link and it'll bring you here. So by default, it's under compatibility mode. So you have B, G, and N. Uh, there's also legacy mode, which is B and G. But what we're looking for is performance mode because uh, this is the best standard. So um, enter that in and click, click, click apply. I'm going to press back because I've already done this and it will update that. Um, and then when you go back to the wireless status, you should see performance mode. Uh, yeah, and that's it. It is very simple. Um, it solved all of my problems. I didn't expect to uh, get as fast of the speeds as I got. Um, on the screen here, you can see now um, what it was before. I was on my I was on my uh, mobile phone, and originally before I did this, standing next to my router, I got. Um, the speeds below and then uh, today after I updated this I went back and did it again standing in the same place next to the wireless router and you see I got much better speeds um, the speeds more than doubled uh, which is more than I expected I, I, did, I expected to get maybe maybe 35 to 40 megabit second download speed so yeah that's uh, that's it if you have any questions um, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching.